we interrupt the waves music to bring you an interview from Contamination, St. Louis's own sci-fi horror and pop culture convention. Hey, you're here with RK9 here at Contamination. I am here with Kenny Sills to introduce his book, Tattoo. Hi, Kenny. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me here. Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Uh, could you tell me more about your book? It's it's titled Tattoo, and it seems very interesting. Could you just go a little bit more into it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's actually called Tattoo, A Beautiful Sin. It's about a large serial killer who dresses up like a surgeon, knocks out his victims, and when they come to, they're naked and they're tied down to an autopsy table. Now, he plays classical music, and he cuts their tattoos out of them while they're still alive and then once he gets the tattoos out then he kills them and leaves their bodies or their body parts around town for the cops to find. Now the cool thing uh, and what makes my book unique besides the story is that when you get to the parts of the book where they're talking about the music that he's playing you can go to my website and click on a button and you can listen to the music as you're reading it and you can hear what the killer's playing for his victims. Wow that is very unique. What made you think of something as interesting as this? You mean dark and evil, right? Hey, in my opinion, I love those types of things. <laughs> Actually, I had a friend back in Houston, and he had a tattoo, and he came in one time, and I said, man, could you imagine being tied down and having that thing cut off? And the story just snowballed from there. So basically, he only ever goes after people with tattoos. Does he, like, stalk them for a while before he actually finds them? Or can you go into a little bit more about that without giving away too many details? Say what, there's one way to find out. Read the book. That's exactly what you got to do. Read the book. So you've done this book. Are there any other possible things in the future for you? Or could you go into those? It's actually going to be a trilogy. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't tell you unless you read the book what the next one's about. Uh, but there will be three total. And I have been talking to some folks about uh, possibly making it into a movie. Oh, really? Nerd kind of question. If you could have anybody play one of the people in your books, who would you, like, do you have a specific, like, kind of cast you would want? Who would it be? Christopher Walken. He's my favorite actor. He's so quirky and unique, and I think he'd be a great character in my book to maybe play the captain. So is it told from the point of view of Killer, or who's it told in the point of view of? One way to find out. Yeah, I would actually be, be ruining it if I told you. Thank you so much for taking your time and letting me talk about your book. Do you have anything else you would like to say that would maybe entice people into reading it? It's very unique. It's not cliche. Like in the movies, if you see a, a, a person looking in the mirror and they look down and they look back up, the killer's always right there. I stayed away from everything cliche so you never know what's going to happen and there's a lot of twists and turns most people read it in a weekend because they can't put it down it's got five stars on amazon and a lot of people say it's a lot like dexter or hostel or silence of the lambs so yeah i think everybody who reads it is going to enjoy it no one's no one said anything but great things about it well i know for one that i'm going to be checking it out as soon as i get the chance for more information about contamination check out their facebook at facebook.com slash contamination stl and for more interviews from the con check out our facebook at facebook.com slash the wave stl stay tuned to 89.5 the wave for more from contamination